In today's video, I'll be showing you how to drastically boost your FPS from 50 to 40 to 250. So make sure you sit tight and watch these settings step by step and your FPS will be incredibly boosted by the end of this video. All right, so you want to go to your settings and then none of these actually like matter that much. The only thing that matters is the video settings. So what you want to do is you want to click on it and then you're going to be here. All right, so the graphics, the best, the best graphics, it's fancy because like it does the best fps especially if you're 1.8.9 so gra the graphics fancy is one of the best for the good the, the game to look good and for the fps to be really good all right so then we'll move on to smooth lighting so basically if you make smooth lighting off and then you put it on zero percent i mean yes the game is going to give you more fps but the game will look like worse it'll obviously look worse and you don't want that so this video, the purpose of it is to give you the best FPS and it's also to make your game look good. So what you want to do is you still want to make this on 100 and smooth lighting on. Alright, so then we'll move on to G GUI scale. That doesn't really matter if you change it or not. Brightness, same stuff, doesn't really matter, but I put it on bright. Dynamic lights, like this is not really an important feature if you're like a PvP player or like you play a lot of pvp legacy or high pixel so i usually turn it off for that extra fps because it's not that important and it makes your game look a little better but it's not that worth it all right so now we're done with the with the video settings let me go to details all right so here i want you to listen to me because this is very important all right so the clouds i want you to turn these off and the trees because the clouds are not that important but if you're playing normal minecraft then you can do it trees i want you to do fancy Alright, so now moving on to the sun and moon, we want that off, we also want the sky off, because if you're playing like Bed Wars, Sky Wars, the void is not going to be visible, so you want these off, and fog also off, this is going to boost your FPS really well, and it's not that important. Alright, so basically set all of these to fast, because swamp colors don't really matter, so get them off, because uh, like these... If you put them on fast you'll get the maximum fps you can get so anything that you can turn on fast just put it on fast all right so you want to turn the stars on just keep them on show capes if you want to see someone's capes just keep them on but it's not that important so i turn them off fog start doesn't really matter you want to want for the rest it doesn't really matter for the rest i like to keep this off but like if you want to turn it on it's all right smooth biomes turn it on it doesn't really matter the fps won't matter that much anyway Alright, so now you're done with the details, you want to go on to animations. So, typically I turn them all off, because, like, these are not that important. So, fire animated just makes your fire move, and all these stuff are not important. So, turn them all off, if you can, for, like, the maximum FPS. And then, for particles, do it minimal, and that's it for the animations. Alright, for the render distance, so, most servers, like, don't take more than, like, 12, so I would put them at 6. It's like, it's like the best like i want to put it less than th like five because it's not going to be that good looking but six is good for fps and most servers under like 12 if you want to turn them up it's going to take a little bit of your fps but the best render distance for me is six max frame rate do whatever your monitor is if it's like 120 hertz do it 120 fps if it's more than that do it as much as your monitor has how many hertz all right I'm doing it unlimited for the sake of this video, but like after this video, I'm going to turn it down to 120 because it's, that's my monitor. All right, so view bobbing, I don't really care about this, but like uh, when you move, it moves, you can't move your hands. So like this doesn't matter. Now this, this actually gives you like 60, 70 more FPS. So make sure you leave this on because it's going to boost your FPS really well. All right, so, so for the rest of these, it doesn't really matter. It's not going to change your FPS that much. Alright, so for the filtering thing, you want to do that at off, because that actually like, takes a lot of your FPS. Right, clean water off, better grass off, custom fonts on, I don't care, connected textures off. All these stuff doesn't really matter, You want if you want to keep those on, it's okay, but like it doesn't really matter. Alright, so here, all of these don't matter that much, except this, you want to turn this off, because that actually like takes a lot of your FPS, so you want to make sure you turn this off. And for the rest, it doesn't really matter. Alright, so now your smooth world, that doesn't really matter. I keep it off. Fast render off and fast math, it actually increases your FPS, so you want to put that on. 
uh, check updates doesn't really matter those don't really matter this is just the most important thing turn everything off except fast math and you'll be good for performance all right so for the last thing we'll go to other so you want to keep i mean those don't really matter but like full screen make sure that's on because that's that will increase your fps and that's basically it copy these settings right here if you want and that's basically it for these settings now, as you can see i'm getting around 100 fps that's because I'm recording and I have a couple of tabs open. If you're not recording and you copy these exact settings, you'll be getting from 200 to 250 FPS. I hope you like this video. Try these settings for yourself and tell me how these settings work for you. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.